Yo, what is up guys, Bojix here, back with a brand new video, and today guys, we're going to be playing some Mod Pit old school mode, so let's hop right into it. So, for today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys my go-to best strategies for this game mode specifically, um, because I haven't played this game mode in a while, so I want to show you guys what I personally use, and how I get a lot of wins in old school mode very, very easily. So, we finally found our first opponent, I Can't Micro, who looks pretty decent, of course, he has a million medallions. A pretty decent record as well so we're just gonna hope for the best so for some reason in old school mode you get a lot and i mean a lot of water maps like i just feel like i don't know like the freaking game just wants you to play on water maps for some reason in old school mode um so for water maps we're pretty much just going to be going boat boomer farm you guys have already seen that uh, but we want to incorporate the boomer because we got to make sure that we can defend against mid game rushes because we have no powers whatsoever so we got the map riverside which i'm actually not down to play okay i want to play on a water map but just not for the first game let's try to get something a little bit better roadblock please skip this all right good <laughs> so he skipped that zen garden all right i'm actually so freaking down for this because it's a little bit of a shorter map and i know i'm going boat boomer farm and i was just freaking dogging on it saying that i didn't want to go it at first but this map is a little bit different okay because there's not too much water on it and it's pretty freaking short so i'm going to show you guys what i personally do to win on this map and you're going to get a pretty quick and easy win because this map is not that long so the game is not going to last that long you definitely want to be going with boomer okay 1000 percent i have seen people go dart wizard and that can work but i just personally prefer uh the boat boomer strategy over that uh he's yet to build a tower so i swear this guy is going healthy man he possibly could be he's going with ng okay this yeah he's done for this man is freaking done for boys um he is going to be leaking a few lives right there it looks like he got up the sentry guns though and we are probably gonna have to get up this grape shot here so let's do that uh because we don't want to be too greedy in a game mode like this okay so if you are usually a greedy player you can lay back a little bit okay it's it's okay because the farms are not that important because of course we have no powers okay so we have to play a little bit cautious a little bit more cautious than we normally would okay so it looks like he's going to be sending us um some more reds and probably even pinks behind that so i'm just gonna get up a zero zero okay we're not gonna be going for the next farm yet and we're gonna be sending him a lot and i mean a lot of space pinks on his side because he's not gonna be able to defend he's gonna have to get way more defenses than that oh my lord i can't micro is leaking so many of the freaking lives boys and we already have two grape shots that was just not about leaking uh that many lives we're still at 121 so we are looking really really solid right now i swear dude if he's trying to greet for the sex farm that is not smart i'm telling you boys do not greet do 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 not greet so let's go over another farm right here by the way there we go it looks like he is defending for the most part now so nicely done we're not going to be sending him space blacks until round seven okay so we're going to hold off for this round and we're gonna see if he sends us some he could possibly i don't know no he went for the next farm okay that's fine too if he does happen to send us some space blacks we're probably just gonna have to upgrade to the faster shooting on both of these and we should be pretty good uh for the most part but i guess since he's not let's go over this plantation a little bit of a greedy move but like i said you want to be a little bit smarter with your greeting okay so right here i want him to go for his next farm i really really do so go for your next farm he's not going to okay that's fine we're still gonna send space blocks i just really wanted to go for the next farm so he didn't have enough to upgrade uh to that second triple or not to that uh double shot ninja that's what i meant <laughs> but i did not notice that he fucking upgraded right there uh to another ng so right here we're actually gonna get up a boomer okay i normally never do this but i'm getting up the boomer just in case if he sends yellows and yep here come the yellows so we just have to sell a farm there right there we just have to there's really no avoiding that and it's fine okay don't worry about it. if you have to sell farms it's all good it's all freaking good so we're gonna be going for this next farm once again and he has no lead detection right now okay so he's gonna have to make sure to get up something next round he's going ninja ng on zen garden i really don't understand that at all actually so i feel like this guy is gonna panic and die to space leads like i'm calling it right now boys okay and he just went for the freaking plantation oh 100 he's dead to this 1000 percent i'm calling it right now okay I'm calling it right now that he died to the space lads he's gonna try to get up the glue foam and it's just not gonna be in yep he's he's dead he's literally dead i mean did he not leak those leads yeah down to seven zero see i freaking called him man see that like that was not smart whatsoever don't go ninja ng 1000 percent don't go ninja ng but you guys can see bow boomer can definitely work and if you have quick reaction times it's actually like, you don't even have to be that quick like all you have to do is upgrade to the turbocharge and then press one button and you are good to defend against pretty much any mid-game rush so 
that's gonna wrap up this game gg my friend i will catch y'all in the next one so we're back with our next opponent i'm 12 years old oh my god this guy has 70 million medallions, so he even has more than me. That's not common. That is definitely not that common uh, to see somebody with more medallions than me. A uh, little flex, but <laughs> I'm, I'm just kidding, guys. But seriously, this guy looks really, really good. We got the map Swamp, which I'm actually going to be skipping, okay? I just want something a little bit better, hopefully. Uh, let's see what we can get. Ghostly Coast is another Boat Boomer map, so uh, yeah, it looks like he does not like that. So if you don't like it, then skip it. I really don't want to waste another energy. Okay, all right, we're gonna be saving it just because we already went boat boomer, even though that's what I kind of prefer. Battle Stance, 1000% down to go for, we're gonna be going Dart Wizard Farm, 1000%. Okay, so I go Dart Wizard Farm sometimes, of course, in my normal games, but you definitely wanna be going Dart Wizard Farm in old school games because it's super easy to defend against mid game rushes. Of course, we got our cheap lead popping power with our wizard, so that's very, very nice. And I just don't prefer going ace because the Operation Dart Storm upgrade, which is the 2 3 upgrade on the ace, it's just pretty damn expensive to get up. Um, I much rather prefer to just spam Lightning Wizards and Triple Darts and just go from there. So that's why I prefer doing that. I just feel like it's a little bit easier and I get to be a little bit more aggressive with like Mexico and stuff like that. So I mean, ace could 1000% work. So if you want to go ace, then by all means, do it. Do whatever your little heart desires, man. Uh, but just me personally, I like to go uh, with this instead. We're going to be upgrading to this triple dart here. And we're going to be continuing with our uh, grouped eco right here. And uh, with the grouped reds. I'm very surprised that I leaked that many lives. And I'm also surprised about uh, his placement. Usually, people don't place it right there for their first placement. But hey, that's, it's fine, I guess. So he's already upgrading to the 0-2, as you guys can see. Uh, we're definitely just going to easily force um a, another triple dart on him we're not going to send too many grouped blues but he's most definitely going to be sending us some group blues as well uh so that was a little bit too many that's fine now i'm gonna put that on last really quickly i'm gonna get up a zero one right there and we're just gonna hope for the best so yeah there it goes with the second triple dart nicely done and we got about 300 eco as well looks like he's not gonna be stopping with the space pink so i'm just gonna upgrade to another triple dart yeah, we're already down to 77, so I just feel like that is our best option right now. Of course, it's going to be out farming us. It's just how it is with old school and with us mix ecoing. But over time, because we have this eco advantage, we're going to catch up in the farms. 1,000% boys. So let's go for this next farm right here. And yeah, we're just going to go for that and then go from there. Um, he's probably going to be going for his plantation relatively soon. So I might even just send him some greens right here. Yeah, let's just continue the aggression. Let's do it. Let's do it, boys. Let's continue this aggression with a lot of greens right here. I want to see what he does. Looks like he's going to get up a spike of pull. He is indeed going to send him a few space blacks behind that. And then maybe a few space pinks as well. Uh, he might happen to leak a few lives. I'm not really too sure. It looks like he's going to keep that spold as well. And here he comes at us with some space blacks, of course. Very, very good timing of that rush. So we're not going to be able to go for the next farm just yet. We're going to have to get up a zero two. 100% to help us out and he's possibly going to be sending us some yellows next round uh, So we got to watch out for that So this is a little bit greedy of me if I do go for this plantation So we're not going to be doing that when we get up to the zero zero right here We're going to play it smart. Okay, boys definitely going to play it smart Like I said, we have a huge ego to bench, So over time we will catch back up in the farms uh, But now I can go for that because uh, I have enough money to go for the spike bolt. So there he goes for his second plantation uh, I thought about sending him some space regen whites, but I'm not going to be doing that. Okay, so there we go for our second plantation and yeah so so far he has yet to do anything oh there he goes for that let's just send him a few space regen whites uh just to keep him busy probably force a triple dart upgrade pretty easily as well and yeah that was a pretty easy force of an upgrade cool 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 and we have our cheap lead detection of course looks like he probably doesn't then um not entirely sure I'm going to be going for this wizard here, though. Let's put it to strong really quickly so we can pop those. Let's put this back to first as well. I'm going to send him a little bit of a regen rush here as well. And we're going to just go from there. So it looks like he's probably going to... Yeah, there he goes. Easy force of a spike pulled upgrade. Nicely done. Let's go for this. And we are greeting just a little bit. Okay, I'm not going to lie. So we're going to have to stop this right freaking now. And we have to probably get up some spolts. Okay, let's put that back onto last. And let's get up that. And he is just spolt spamming right now, boys. <laughs> he definitely is. He's probably going to rush us next round. Uh, so we have to watch out for that. But we should be pretty good for the most part. Let's see what he does. 
nothing. Alrighty, okay, so he just went for his next farm. We're gonna be going for ours. So now we do have a farm lead. We have an eco advantage as well. If he happens to rush us, we have all of our zero zero darts in place uh, to upgrade to those spike pults. So <laughs> right now we are chilling. We are 1000% chilling right now. We just gotta make sure that he's not too greedy within the farms, okay? So we might possibly send him a rush, probably in round 16. I thought about round 15, but it's gonna be round 16, okay? So let's go for this plantation right here. And we're gonna have a lot of money coming in this round. So there he goes as well. Uh, we're just gonna send him some regen leads right now. Maybe even a regen rainbow behind that. And we're gonna just hope for the best, boys. So it looks like he just got up two jugs but it looks like it's not gonna be enough he sells all of his farms he's down to 44 lives in that was a pretty good micro right there i'm not gonna lie he had to sell a lot of farms uh, but that was pretty good micro he upgraded to that operation dart storm pretty quickly uh so nicely done all i gotta say is nicely motherfucking done right there boys um <laughs> that was a good defend that was a good defend i won't lie so i probably should have not went for that republic but it's fine we're gonna be sending him, of course, a mod right here. We just most definitely have to. And we're probably gonna have to fan club here, boys. Not gonna lie. Uh, looks like he's gonna try to defend, but we're gonna send some leads behind this. And, hmm. I have to sell two farms. There's no way he's defending that. He's not defending that. Dude, he's dead. 100% he's dead right there. I don't know why the fuck he did not fan club that. He just really did not want to fan club, but that is a GG. Let's go. Let's freaking go, boys. That is such a good win. This guy was definitely a good player, so I am so fucking happy that we just won that game. GG, my friend. I will catch you out in the last one. So we are back with our last opponent, Canadian for life. So I actually DC'd uh, from two games. Do apologize, but yeah, just take my word for it. We got the map Area 52. So I am 1,000% down to play on this map. So, my last probably go-to strategy for... Uh, okay, never mind. Happen to skip it. Racetrack, definitely don't want to be playing. So, I'm going to be skipping that as well. Ink Blots. It's going to be another Boat Boomer. Oh, he skipped it too. He was like, fuck that. Water Resorts. Okay. So, <laughs> finally found a game. So, I wouldn't necessarily call this a go-to strategy. Uh, but, this will definitely work. Okay, we're going to be going Ninja NG Farm for this one. I just want to switch it up a little bit. But yeah, my main two go-to strategies for old school mode are definitely Dark Farm Wizard, Boat Boomer Farm. Okay, because like I said, you got to make sure that you incorporate strategies that are easily able to defend mid-game rushes. It's so freaking important because a lot of games happen to end mid-game because people cannot defend against those mid-game rushes, man. Even though it's super, super simple. You just got to make sure that you have the right strategy. So we're going to be starting off with our NG, of course. So let's do that. And he's going to be going literally the same thing. So yeah, definitely a pretty good strategy, as you guys can tell. Uh, we're going to be sending some space freaking blues behind those reds until 261 eco exactly and yeah we're just gonna hope for the best we probably do not have to upgrade yeah we're not gonna be upgrading and we got him to upgrade to the nine inch nails so yeah things are looking pretty good for us uh we already upgraded to the more bananas as well and yeah so i'm very very happy with how we're playing currently i uh, wouldn't be sending him some space pinks of course next round let's go for this next farm right here and we're gonna go maybe with the more bananas i don't know it's a little bit risky yeah we're not gonna be doing it, okay like I said, you want to be a little bit smarter. Ah, fuck that. Never mind. <laughs> Literally, I just contradicted myself right there, but it's fine. Because we're still able to go for the center again. Like, that freaking took so long to end that round. Like, Jesus. Uh, but it looks like he already got the faster engineering. Oh, my God. Because he didn't even not... Yeah, he didn't even go for the next farm. Okay, that's fine with me, dude. I will definitely take this farm late. That is all good in the hood with me. So, we're going to have to upgrade to the 9-inch nails, it looks like. Dude, this guy just sending us a lot of space pinks right now. But we have that farm lead. So, I think... It's kind of worth it because we are down to 87, which kind of sucks, but okay, I'm chilling at 87. That's fine with me, uh, personally. So we're going to have to upgrade to this plantation, hopefully before round six starts. We're not going to be sending him anything um, until round seven with the space blacks within the AI. It's pretty good. Of course, I always talk about this, but if he happens to send us space blacks right now, we should be pretty good. We should be pretty good. We already have the faster engineering and everything, so yeah, we should definitely be fine. And here he comes, yeah. Here he comes with some space blocks. We should be fine for the most part. I believe. I believe that our NG will be fine. And yeah, we're just going to greet that right there. 100%. Let's send him some space blocks now just because he's being a little bit aggressive. Okay. With the space deco. Like, chill. Okay. You, you got a couple of leaks off of us. All right. Now you think you missed the hot shot. He's he's not 1,000% going to be leaking lives right here. Uh, so we will get a revenge with these leaks. Oh, my God. He's going to be leaking a lot, actually. Okay, so he quickly upgraded to an NG. 
all the way at the end of the map. Oh my lord. That was quite a bit of leaks, my friend. Holy. So I feel like he's going to be aggressive. Yep. Yep. I knew it. I was about to say, I know he's going to be aggressive with some freaking yellows, and he exactly freaking was, boys. So, not a smart move, in my opinion. Not at all. So, we're going to be selling a lot of these engineers. Oh, my lord. You did not just do that. He just went for that farm, boys. He just went for that fucking farm. So, oh, okay. There we go. Let's get that. Really? Oh, he sold a freaking plantation. Okay, I was about to say, are you fucking serious? Jesus. Okay, that scared the fuck out of me. I was like, how in the world did he just defend that? I feel like we're just going to all out this guy, man. I feel like we can because I just don't see him defending. I truly do not. I mean, he could possibly all out us, though. Yikes. This is a decision, boys. All right, just defend the AI. Please, let's freaking go, boys. He was just super aggressive and it cost him the game. So, like like I said previously, a lot of games happen to end mini games. So you just gotta make sure you're able to defend. That's why you don't wanna be too aggressive. Don't be too aggressive uh, during those early rounds. So that's gonna be a GG. I hope you guys did enjoy this video. I really do because I did. I really did enjoy playing. And I felt like those were three very, very genuinely good games. So if you guys did enjoy, slap a like on the video, please, for me. If you guys are new to the channel, make sure to click that subscribe button. Actually, like, seriously, click that subscribe button because it says 80% of my viewers aren't subscribed to me. So, like, you know, if you're coming back, watching the content, you might as well just hit that subscribe button so you are notified when I do post. So enough with that. The last question I asked you guys in the last video was, what is my favorite number? And I gave you guys the hint of it being between the numbers one through 10. And the answer is three. So this guy won, congratulations, man. Of course, yes, three. That was like my number in sports and everything. I just really like that number for some reason. It looks cool, okay? Three is fucking dope, boys. Really, really dope. Congratulations, man, on your shout out. So the next question I'm gonna be asking guys is, what year did I graduate high school, okay? So if you didn't know, yeah, I'm not in high school, okay? I'm in college. So what year did I graduate high school? Make sure to leave your answers down below in the comment section. You may have the chance to win a shout out in the next video, which is obviously dope. I really did and do hope you guys have a great day and enjoyed this video. It's been your boy, Bull Tricks or Justin. Peace out, everybody.